Hey everyone, this is David with ESALZ E-Bikes. We're providers of high performance, high power e-bikes. But more, most concerned about all of that is your safety. Here at ESALZ, we, we constantly seek a bigger, better, safer way. And I want to just show you what's going on in the e-bike marketplace today. We have batteries with two pin connectors. It's just a goes right in, you can twist around. Very convenient. Um, it's, it's more affordable for the manufacturer. The problem is the battery has no ground and, and, and causing fire safety issues, especially when we move up to 60 volt batteries. Our bikes all come with a three pin connector um, it allows the, the system to be um, tied to a ground. In addition to that, that extra th third pole allows us to communicate between the charger and the battery. This is designed for high amp, high voltage um, bikes. And, and this, this system here is, is totally inadequate. I recommend you go to ChatGTP40 or, or um, any kind of form of an AI and talk to them about the difference between a two pin and a three pin connection. With the three pin connection here for their 60 volt battery, there's only one way that that'll go in there. And it's not a real struggle. You just, you just take the, the connection and twist it until it falls in. Now, the charger and the battery can communicate to one another. And that's called battery conditioning, and you can go to AI about all that. When the charger comes to, to um, maximum voltage on a cell, it kicks off. There's 64 cells in here, but it kicks off. When the first cell reaches max charge, the BMS signals to the charger shut off. With the system that we have here, what it does is the if you allow the charger to continue to operate even after it's reached green, I usually go, um, I, I just trickle them overnight. But, but in either case, it brings every cell in the battery pack to full voltage. And it, it lengthens the life of the battery tremendously by, by doing cell conditioning. And more importantly, in these battery packs, we use on our Monstar, we're using the 50S, or our Triple Crowns, we're using the 50S Samsung cells, 21700. The battery can easily take an 80 amp discharge, 80 amps, on, on our dual battery bikes, and, uh, and, and, and not, not harm the cells. If you put in lower class cells in these battery packs, they wonder why they don't go as fast. They wonder, a lot of things why they're getting heat up is because the battery is not capable of doing a heavy discharge or fast discharge um, without really causing some heavy stress. This battery conditioning system that we have on our bikes is the only way to go. Um, and with all that, I just wanted to point that out, what we do here at eCells. Not two pin. No way. We use three pin connectors. Thank you very much.